Hello guys, in this video I will guide you on how to use your phone as a gamepad for your Android TV. So if you want to be able to play certain games on your Android TV that requires a controller or you just want to be able to navigate through your Android TV using a virtual controller on your phone, this quick tutorial will show you how to use your phone as a gamepad or a controller for any Android TV you have regardless of the brand. And first things first, what you want to do is to head over to the Google Play Store or App Store of your Android TV. So come over to the App section and then open up the Google Play Store on your Android TV or App Store. Now from the Google Play Store at the top search bar, you want to go ahead and search for Zang. So come inside of this input field and then you want to search for Zang just like so. And this is basically the app we want to get. So make sure you click on the install button or if you find this from the search results, just make sure you select the app and then ensure you also download it into your Android TV. Once the Zank Remote Control app is downloaded and installed, before you open it up, you want to come back to your Android TV home screen and then you just want to head over to the settings icon usually at the top right corner of the TV. So come over to the settings icon, click on it and then you want to scroll down until you get to device preferences, select that. Now click on the about option and then you just want to scroll down continuously until you get to the Android TV OS build option at the bottom or in some Android TVs it is called build. Once you get here, you want to press on the OK or select button on your remote control for 7 times to enable developer options. So I'll go ahead and press for 7 times. You can see now I am now a developer. So once you become a developer as well, you want to come out of this and then scroll down continuously until you find the developer options we have just enabled. You can find it over here on mine, select it and then scroll down continuously again. Then make sure you enable USB debugging, select that and then click on OK. And before we also open up the Zank Remote Control app, you want to get your phone and then head over to the App Store or Google Play Store. From the search bar at the bottom over here, you want to also search for the Zank Remote Control app. And then make sure you download and install this app as well into your phone. Now that we have the app on our phone and on our Android TV, the next thing you want to do now is to open up the app on your Android TV. So I have it over here at the bottom. I'll just go ahead and select it to open it up. At this point, you don't want to do anything. Give it some few seconds and you're going to see the always allow from this computer option. Go ahead and check that button, then scroll down, click on OK. And finally, once you get here, you want to open up the Zank Remote Control app on your phone as well. Give it all of the permission it requires, so click on allow, and then you want to click on the home button at the bottom over here. This is going to prompt the Zank Remote Control app to start searching for available devices it can actually connect to. This is the name of my Android TV. If you do not find the name of your Android TV from over here, you can try making sure that both devices are on the same Wi-Fi. But if you find yours, you don't have to do anything. Just proceed to click on the name of your Android TV. Mine is over here. And now it has connected. You also have to click on the always allow from this computer option again. Then go ahead and click on OK now. And just like so, we have now successfully set up the app. Now to get the gamepad or controller feature from this app, all you just have to do is to click on this box icon at the top over here. And then you want to click on the gamepad icon, which is over here. And now we have this gamepad that we can now use to control our Android TV and even play games without any problem. So if I go over to the home page of my Android TV now, you can now see that I should be able to navigate through this app using my gamepad over here. And it works pretty well without any problem. I'll go ahead and try playing a game. So you can literally see I am able to control the beach buggy game using my phone as a gamepad and this works pretty well without any problem. If you find this video useful, please make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel guys.